Venice city officials hit another wall in their attempts to bring the airport into compliance with Federal Aviation Administration standards. SNN Local News 6 reporter Mia McCormick joins us live from the newsroom with an update on the latest communication from the FAA. Mia, what's the latest? Venice Municipal Airport has a reference code of C-11. That dictates the approach speed and the wingspan allowed for airplanes that are using the facility. In December, city officials asked the FAA to downgrade that reference code. Venice city officials' latest request to downgrade the airport's reference code was shot down by the Federal Aviation Administration. And we had hoped by downgrading the airport it would more accurately reflect the operations that are going on there. The city spent several hundred thousand dollars on new technology for research to obtain the downgrade and to update the information for their airport master plan. The downgrade would have substantially cut costs and bring the airport into compliance on some outstanding issues they've had with the FAA. In a letter dated January 8th, the FAA cited two major reasons why Venice Airport must continue to keep its current C-11 standards. A downgrade could cause potential impacts to users, including airport tenants whose livelihoods depend on servicing C-11 aircraft. And because the city requested and received a federal grant in 2006 based on its current classification. Most critically, though, is that uh, they have left the door open for us to present them some alternatives. So we will We'll have a discussion with the city council on the 28th of January and try to determine where we go from, from there. Those compromises could help avoid the costly process of bringing Venice Airport in compliance with C-11 standards. City Manager Turner feels confident this three-year airport saga will come to an end over the next several months. Now, city Manager Turner says they are working with a consulting firm on ways to come up with some compromises that the FAA will approve of. That will begin in the January 28th public meeting. Lauren. And Mia, you mentioned that uh, the process of coming up to compliance is costly, but the research uh, can also be expensive, too. That's correct. Usually the FAA requires every five years for airports to update their master plan. And in the last five years, the FAA paid for that update. But the city decided to take it on this year and, and spend the money, several thousand, several hundred thousand dollars to make that upgrade because they felt that the FAA's last, uh, last diagnosis of the airport wasn't really correct with what the operations were.